We use field reports to capture events on a job site, kind of like a journal. What was the weather like? The job conditions? Who was present? What kind of work was done? And what equipment was used, and so on. Sage Construction Central lets you do this while you're on the job site, so you don't have to wait till the end of the day to do your paperwork back in the office. Using field reports and observations, you can capture the events and activities for the day, even attach photos or drawings to provide more detail. In this lesson, we examine how to create new field reports through the Sage Construction Central website. Including how to find a specific field report so you can open it to change it or add more information, and how to indicate that the information is final. The easiest way to create a field report is to use the Quick Add button on the home page. On this page, enter some general information about the report, like what job it's for, who prepared it, and what date it's for. You can type the first few numbers or letters of the job ID or job name to find it, or choose it from the last jobs used, or use the advanced finder to search for a job. Accept or change the description. Indicate who's preparing this report. This field works just like the job field. Accept or change the date of the report. And if your company is set up to use different types of field reports, you can select it from the drop-down. Then assign a number for the field report. Click Save when you're done. This is the page for the field report that you just created, and you can begin to add observations for that day. The observation types you see here depend on what your company selected to use in the project management application. Click the type of observation you want to add. We're not going to do that now. To learn how to add observations, watch the lesson called Field Report Observations. We're going to use another field report that has more information we can look at. Let's go to the Field Reports page. You can get to it through the menu, or click the Field Reports text at the top of the page. Right now, it's only showing the reports for this job, but you can change it to another job or select to show the reports for all your jobs. You can choose the types of reports you want to see, and if not all the columns are useful to you, you can choose to hide them. Uncheck the ones you want to hide. If you're looking for a specific report, try using Search. Type in any text and it will search for matches in the columns that are shown on this page. You can even organize the reports by clicking any column heading to sort by that column. Once you find the report you want to work with, a quick way to add attachments or observations is to click the ellipses. You can also choose to delete the report as long as the status is still open. To look at the report in detail and to see the observations, click the View button. This takes you to that page for the report, with the general information up on the top, and the observations on the rest of the page. First, let's examine the set of buttons on the upper right. The Edit button lets you edit the general information about this report. This is what you entered when you first created the report. You can make any changes as needed. The initial status of a report is open, and you would want to keep it this way as you're adding observations. Once you're done, you can close the report by changing the status to finalized as long as you have the security permissions. Once the status is finalized, you cannot change it back to open. But as long as you have the security permissions to finalize a field report, you can add more observations, just not the ones for payroll time and work activities and progress. If you have drawings or photos associated with a day's work, you can add them as attachments. This report already has some. If you hover your mouse over one, you can click Details. Here you can edit the description, open the file, or download it. There's another lesson dedicated to attachments. Be sure to watch it to learn how to work with them. Under Actions, you can choose to email this report to someone or generate a PDF of it. You can also choose to delete this report as long as the status is not finalized. 
Next to each type of observation, you can see how many there are. Expand the observation type to see the details. If you're using a mobile device with a smaller screen, the easiest way to add a new field report is to tap the Quick Add button on the home page. You can also go to the Field Reports page and add one from there. Because it's a smaller screen, you would scroll to see your list of field reports. You can always use the filters to help you find the report you need. Do these buttons look familiar? You have your View and Ellipses for more actions.